Hi there. Um, we had a customer the other day ask how to do a credit, and um, I explained over the phone some easy ways to do it, but I thought I'll do this quick video uh, just so that um, I can demonstrate how simple it is to do a credit in Peach software. Regardless of whether you're a uh, put of sale or an invoice user, so just to uh, fill you in on that, if you're XGST, then you normally would use invoicing, and if you're Inc. GST, you would normally use point of sale. Uh, but a uh, bit of an update, and that is that if you're XGST and you use invoicing, you can now also use the point of sale screen. So I'll just show you now how to do a credit in Peach software. So uh, you can go to transactions over here in the left and uh, credit note. And then you load the customer that you want to do the credit for. And OK to that. Right, and we'll go straight down to the part here. So I'll just type in a part. This is the part that this customer has purchased before. And you can see there uh, what they've paid for it in the past, the invoice number we sold to them on, how many they were invoiced for, at what price, and how many have been claimed against that invoice. So that's one way of doing it. So I can just choose which invoice I wish to credit and that'll bring it into the screen with the invoice number. Now if you wanted to credit an actual transaction, let's start again. Again, load the customer. Now this time I'm going to bring in a full transaction, so a, an invoice that I've previously done for this customer and I just want to uh, credit uh, let's say part of or all of the transaction. So I go now down to F5 Retrieve and Invoices is highlighted up here. And then I can go down and I can find the invoice that I'd like to credit. So there's an invoice with four lines on it. Let's do that one. So there's the uh, credit amount. Uh, retrieve Pass. Now this is important. If I just go OK, it's going to retrieve the actual transaction. Actually, that is a credit transaction, I can tell by the numbers. So let's just go a bit further down and find another invoice with uh, several lines on it. There's one there. And this time, because it was an invoice, retrieve parts into new transactions already ticked because it knows that you're in the credit note screen, so it wants to do a credit. So what it's going to do, it's going to retrieve the lines of this prior invoice into the credit note. So go OK and it tells you it's now loaded the lines and it should have loaded the lines with the correct quantity and the correct pricing according to the original invoice and then all you do is F10 and then you can update that transaction. If you didn't want to credit the whole lot you could remove a line so just hit the cross here. Yes, don't ask again, OK and then if I wanted to, I could actually add other part numbers uh, again. <coughs> it'll do that same search and I can add another part number from another invoice to be credited as well. Now it's similar in the point of sale screen, so we'll quickly go there and have a look. So if I go to point of sale and uh, I'll load the customer up. And now the first thing I'll do is I'll say, I'm gonna do a credit for this customer. So then I can go F5, transaction retrieve. Again, back to the same place. There's the part I wanna do a credit for. Okay, it's in the system, it's at the right price, F10, and I've done a credit for this part. So just remember when you do retrieve the parts from an old invoice into another invoice, now let's just cover that for a moment. Let's say I wanted to duplicate an invoice that I'd done for 003 into, let's say, 005. <clears throat> All I need to do is, actually, I should have loaded 003 first. Okay. Um, and let's say invoices. And then click that and remember to tick this. Otherwise, all you're going to do is reprint this invoice. So new part, parts in the new transaction, OK, OK. And then I can change the customer code. OK, I won't reprice. Oh, yeah, I'll reprice it according to this customer. Obviously, this customer's on a different discount, so we'll put it back to A there. 
and then you just update. So there's a couple of tips and tricks about credit note, doing a credit for a customer. Thanks for watching.